All right, today's project is going to be replacing the AC drain hose in this 944 turbo. All right, as you can see, uh, we've got pretty custom shaped drain hose thing here. Uh, and it basically sits in the car like this. It's gonna plug in and then drain out. And it's gonna be behind our radio head and this little console right here. So about to dig in and see how much I need to remove to be able to get to it. Okay, so, so far, here's what I've done. I've pulled out the head unit for, uh, you know, my radio right here. Unplugged everything, set it off to the side. If you look down in there, and I think I'm gonna turn on my flash so you can see it, but right back here, there it is. You can kind of see that. Right back there, that is where the hose goes. Uh, my old hose basically disintegrated and there's bits of it still stuck on there. I can reach back there with my hand. So what I'm gonna hope to do is just, with simply just the radio out, reach back, peel off all that old stuff from the hose, and then it drains right, I don't know if I can get on camera, but you can feel it, there's a hole that it goes right into right down there so the other end and i'll show you how it's oriented later we're going to get that right there get that hose off old hose stick the new hose on and then just route uh, the drain part down in the hole and that is all we've got to do so i don't know if you have big hands or not you might want to remove this dash or this middle console section. There's two screws on the side, one here, one on the other, and I think you can just kind of pull everything back. And you can work from back there if you want to. But this, to me, seemed like the easiest route. And of course, there's a lot of cables and stuff to deal with, but I can get my hand back there and feel it. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so finally got mine off. And you can see that was all that was left of it. The rest disintegrated and I guess I pulled out chunks of it. Just a sticky mess. It just, it gets hot down there and this stuff breaks down eventually. So what we're gonna do is put our new pipe on that fitting and then route it down to the hole where it drains. So once we get it on, you, sh you should be able to see which direction it wants to go on its own. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, so this end will go on that pipe, and then this end down in the hole, and we're done. All right, you can see the pipe is in there and routed where it needs to be, so that's it. Next, just gotta put it all back together, slide the head unit back in there. All right, there you go. We're back in the mix. So now I can run the AC and it shouldn't have water spraying me in the face. Yay. All right, so a reason that you might suspect that you've got a bad uh, drain hose could be like what I was experiencing where driving in the heat had the AC blasting turbos spooling up and water shooting out of the vents. I mean, it was just like spraying out. And so every now and then I'd sense a little fleck, you know, like pop out. But one day it just started like spritzing out of there. And of course, I had no idea what was going on, figured something bad had happened. And after doing some research, figured out, you know what? But my drain was complete, was clogged or something. So pulled it apart, reached in there, found out that my hose had completely deteriorated and part of it was clogging the pipe. So that should fix it. All right, so like we started the video, here's the old one. New one's in there. Uh, hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If you need to replace your drain hose, then you'll be able to do it pretty easy. I think if you follow the method I did, if your hands are bigger, you might have to pull more out or remove that whole section. But uh, hopefully the head unit, just pull that, stick your hand back there, get the old one off, pop the new one on, and call it a day. 
All right. Hope that's helpful.